We humans love to collect data in all shapes and forms. It helps us to find patterns, generalize, and learn. Throughout our journey leading up to the present day, we have found various ways to record collected data. In the beginning, we did this in rudimentary ways such as stone tablets, then in print, and today, with the invention of machine storage, we have taken data collection to new levels and larger volumes. We collect so much data that the widespread use of cloud network storage and cloud computing has become inevitable. We come into contact with big data every day, in online retail sites, streaming services, and social media. Whether you are streaming a song, looking at someone's pictures online, or buying a new outfit on a website, you're both the source of, as well as the interactor, with big data. Clickstream data shows a particular user's browsing preferences while a web blog is generated to show how many users access and browse a specific website. These types of data can provide useful information about user preferences and a website's appeal. And they can also be actively analyzed via artificial intelligence to provide purchase recommendations recommendations and targeted marketing. But big data is about more than retail or social media. Weather and traffic are other examples where a lot of data is continually generated and analyzed for patterns and predictions. Efficient route mapping and traffic is an example where big data is put to use directly for end users. A typical organization collects a lot of information about employees, customers, purchases, sales, finances, marketing, inventory, logistics, you name it. As an example, the healthcare industry has been adopting big data analytics to reduce inefficiencies in the overall system and to make improvements in patient care. Another source of big data is the up-and-coming Internet of Things, where radio sensors implanted in everyday objects transmit information via the network. Smartphones and tablets inherently carry these capabilities through built-in sensors and transmission capabilities. These days, vehicles and household appliances come stocked with sensors as well. Retailers are experimenting with miniature radio frequency identification, or RFID tags in product packaging, which help to impart information on purchasing habits of consumers and also help to speed up the checkout process. Similar devices can now be used around the house to automatically place order for items that need to be repurchased. What sets big data apart are the three Vs – volume, velocity, variety. In other words, there is a lot of it coming in rapidly and in many flavors – text, numbers, pictures, video. This data is stored and processed in private, public, or hybrid clouds. Hadoop is a popular clustering software platform that distributes data and delegates data processing tasks among the server and storage nodes in the network. Data stored in such clusters is accessed and modified using a variant of popular database query language called SQL. While traditional databases are structured into well-defined categories, Hadoop uses a file system format that can handle both structured and unstructured data, such as text and pictures. The ultimate purpose of big data is to provide useful insights. In business decision-making, visualization is a key enabler in extracting use from large amounts of data. Visualization tools are often coupled with analytic algorithms that look for patterns and correlations which can have potential business impact. Such big Data analytics are implemented by advanced machine learning algorithms that perform sophisticated statistical analysis, pattern recognition, and predictive modeling. One major concern with big data is data privacy and security. Since data is stored and processed in a cluster of nodes, network clouds have to be even more vigilant. Another bottleneck is a shortage of skilled analytics personnel who are trained in advanced fields such as statistics and machine learning. There are also questions about the effectiveness of big data strategies. Nonetheless, big data has proved to be useful in many areas and continues to be investigated in many others. To recap, big data encompasses a large spectrum of technologies, RFID sensors, click screens and web logs for data collection, vast amounts of cloud storage and associated security, efficient storage and rapid access via platforms such as Hadoop and SQL, visualization tools for providing business intelligence, machine learning tools for analytics, and blazing fast computing speeds to achieve all this. Big data is here to stay and organizations that can identify how to tap into its potential can definitely benefit from it. Thanks for watching. Look for some more fun and informative videos on the Tech Animate channel.